hello welcome to this week's vlog so i'm going to be taking you with me over this weekend as i have not one not two but three fairs <laughs> and today is friday the 2nd of august and it's the first fair is today um so i'm at brew house and kitchen today and tomorrow which is on trent bridge so the riverside festival um is on the embankment right outside basically a Brewside kitchen and that's on this whole weekend so this is coinciding with that they've got a load of things happening as well so obviously the craft fair there are like a I don't know if they do food as well but they're definitely like a bar um and they have outside seating and stuff and they've got like singers and all sorts going on so we're in like the gallery which I actually went to a wedding here <laughs> um, a few years ago uh, it's really nice like little area gallery thing so that's where we're going to be what I'm going to be today and tomorrow and I think some people are going to be there on Sunday as well but I'm somewhere different on Sunday but I'll show you as I go along. We are here so we've just come up those stairs and we've come up here. So there's like a little bar around here. You can see people are still setting up. And then I'm around here. With my friend Anna. Right. <laughs> Wanna buy everything off your stall again? This is the entrance that customers come up to the fair, but there isn't really anyone here unfortunately so far. Here's the view. So the Riverside Festival's down there. This is our venue, so obviously it's like a pub. And then everyone's going to go and see Nottingham Forest apparently, <laughs> which is the grounds over there. But that's Trent Bridge. Yeah, it's very, very quiet here in the fair. There's barely anyone even coming up. Which is a little bit depressing, but anyway, just the way it goes sometimes. It is now Saturday, what's the date? The 3rd of August. And um, yeah, yesterday the fair didn't go that great. <laughs> it was so dead, there was like no customers. At one point we got really excited because five people were coming in. <laughs> I don't think they brought anything <laughs> from anyone. Um, but yeah, that was yesterday. And we're kind of not surprised about yesterday's one because it was a Friday and it was kind of the evening and the football, the local football team was on. I think it was Forest playing. Oh, was that Forest? I think it was Forest, it was playing. Forest yeah. Yeah. Um, is it warm in here? Uh, yeah, anyway. So Forest were playing and um, I think there was a lot of, because it's like a, near the Forest ground and the um, it's a pub as well um, and does food and things. I think there was a lot of like football fans who don't seem to be particularly interested in craft fairs. Kind of obviously. Oh, big queue. Uh, fire engine just arrived. Outside. Uh, Tesco. Tesco, not co-op. Other supermarkets are available. Anyway, so we're going back there today for the second um, day at this fair. I, it is on again tomorrow, but I'm not going to tomorrow's one. So I will only book in somewhere else. But I tell you about that tomorrow. Anyway, so we're going. We're going. It won't be tomorrow. It'll be on this video. Be yeah, about but, 30 seconds. Anyway. Any other little helpful inputs? Don't eat yellow snow. So, back there today, and this time it's from 12 till 6. Um, I think that's the better time. Generally, a lot of people go. Obviously, it's a weekend, so people are off, and that's when they're more likely to go to Riverside Festival. And this is like the pub at the end of the Riverside Festival, and it's got like the craft fair upstairs. I think there's more stores today as well, because again, it's Saturday. And so a lot more people, obviously a lot of people who have, do craft fairs have other jobs as well. So they've obviously been doing that in the week, so they weren't here yesterday. So hopefully, it will be busier. Fingers crossed. And I'll sell more than six months pounds. I was asking Anna the other day, or well, yesterday, should I say, not the other day, about her to-do list that she had when I last saw her at the Botanical the other month. And she didn't have any, but she found a one last night. And I was like, it's mine, can I have it? And she was like, yes, you may. I love a to-do list. 
So, in this side, we're all the same as we were yesterday. So that's why there's a lot of people not here yet, because the store's already set up, so they're coming a bit closer to opening. So we were all here yesterday. But then over here, these have all changed. So this person, Magda, I think? Yeah. She's um, a friend of Anna, who I'm next to, um, at this fair, and I knew from a different fair. And then, I don't know if someone's setting up there, but there's two more people as well and um, we're just putting a load of posters up so Anna and Magda have done these to go up so they've just gone down there's one there they've just gone down here and of course oh, there's Magda there I'm just trying to find places to put them in like, the entrances and that hopefully encourage people to come in today it is now Sunday <laughs> the 3rd of August and today I'm at Elveston Castle um, so I've been here a couple of times before, um, I really like this fair, it's a nice atmosphere and I've done well the last um, couple of times I've done well, I've only done it twice, a couple of times I've done it. <laughs> uh, so, ooh, I'm off there now. Feeling tired and not great mentally, but uh, it's fine, it's good, it's not like I've not done this before where <laughs> I've just carried on anyway. Um, but yeah, so going to be there. It's 10 till 4, yesterday, so over the two days that I did the, well, We've got a load of classic cars behind us, and one actually behind us is a three-wheeler. Oh, I can't see it on this it's camera. Morgan, it's a Morgan three-wheeler. Oh, right, okay. Not a Reliant Robin, it's a good three-wheeler. Right, okay, I can't see on the camera, um, behind. But anyway, so yesterday we were at the Riverside Festival thing at Bruce Island Kitchen. So over the two days, I had one four hour fair and one six hour fair, I only sold 23 melts. I mean, it's 23 more <laughs> than I would have sold if I hadn't gone. And I got a free tea and, two. huh? It's two of them. Two of them. And the um, store, stores itself were free as well. So it could have been a lot worse. I didn't lose any money, basically. Um, I did make some money. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Um, and, I thought that was, I don't know why I thought that was our neighbour for a moment. I think yeah, I just saw I well. black bald, dog bald, bald head. Like, yeah. <laughs> God, it wasn't just me. So anyway, I'm at, hopefully I'll film some more Elveston Castle today than I filmed over the last couple of days because there just wasn't much going on. So, and then because I was at the same fair both days, I was like, well, I'm, I don't want to show you just the same stuff. Um, so anyway, I might film some more today. Wish me luck. <laughs> you can really see that the cars. The classic cars are there. Oh, you can see if we closer. I think that one looks like Brum. You know, from the TV kids' TV show. It looks like Brum. We're in the long entrance mm -hmm. to. This isn't the main entrance, is it? Um, what is this entrance like? The. It's the disabled access. Oh, disabled access entrance. Um, but you, we can come up here because we've got like a, a fair, and then you just kind of drop everything off, don't you? Mm. And then go again. And um, so we're allowed to unload up here. Um, obviously, it's not open yet anyway, so <laughs> I don't think there's going to be anyone coming to visit who's uh, disabled. But we've got to stop behind some horses. There's two people jogging. It's all happening. Oh, cars going like crazy. Oh, look at them. Horses are so cute. And slightly scary. <laughs> don't you think? Uh, yeah, it's as big as and heavy as my car Yeah, is. and they're really skittish. They are. So it's like... The owners are much better. They're just so skittish that you're just like, oh god, I don't say boo. boo. I feel like I have to whisper because they might break the car because they're so huge. It's quite a nice drive though, isn't it? Mm. I bet. I wonder if they're here for a, the fair as well, the car in front. I suspect so as well. As well as the uh, two cars behind. Yeah, we're, we're all on our way. Almost, almost here, aren't we? We're they're in the wrong there. place if they're for the fair. Or maybe they're not fair. They might not be. And, it, and it's, you know... Polish. What's that got to do with anything? Well, I thought you were just talking about... And also, it doesn't say Polish. I think it's Ireland, Irish, it actually. PL. No, I think it says Ireland. Okay. Look, I can't really see. I've got glasses on and I still can't see, so... <laughs> I don't know why you're taking my word for it. <laughs> this is our palace. Um, so we get to park right up... Shh. We own it. It is the uh, Bunnells. Not Elveston Castle, Bunnell Castle. Yes. Um, ignore why it's there, that's got nothing to do with anything. <laughs> so yeah, we go in the servants, paupers entrance, don't we? Um, yeah. But customers go in that side where the cafe is and things, I think, don't they? Yeah. I'm trying to find somewhere to park. We're going to go here. 
lots of wheel turning. I don't drive so I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> so here we are, not a bad venue. So there's a cafe here, hence all the seats. We've been visiting here before as well as doing the fair. Um, but yeah, it's going to be much busier in here when we open. So we're in here today, which I've not been in before. It's quite an impressive room. And then there's another room in here which wasn't open last time either. It's huge today. And then this is the room I'm normally at. Sorry. Um I was there last time. And then there's another room in there, but there's people in the way, so I can't show you. <laughs> and then, back through here is the entrance for me. I thought I'd come out and show some of the grounds as well, or how it looks like from this side. So this door's open. Good location. It is now Monday, the fifth of August, and um, yeah, the fair yesterday didn't go amazingly either, which was unusual for the fair at Elveston Castle. There was a bit of drama that was going on as well um, in the uh, morning when we first got there. Um, I'm not going to like discuss it here because it's just silly childish stuff to be honest <laughs> um so anyway so um yeah that was happening and um I wasn't feeling that great mentally so I just I just want to go home to be honest um but yeah there were loads and loads of dogs there because it was that it was a dog fest thing and um there was even more dogs than normal and there was just so many cute ones so I got a lot of fusses and stuff with them and um other than that thing at the beginning everyone was um lovely as usual and it was a nice atmosphere and it was nice to see people that I haven't seen for like the last couple of months because I didn't do Elveston Castle last month um as well so I only sold 16 melts which is not good that's a lot less that's like at least half than what I normally sell when I go to that fair but never mind but I thought I'd show you quickly the ones that um sell better because I have a new little like collection out at the moment which is all again all essential oils and they're all to help heal the seven main chakras so i have all the information and stuff on like my social media and that if you want to know more about chakras and essential oils and all that kind of thing it's all on there but i thought i'd show you some of me some of me some of my best sellers i'm currently in the office it's like heart currently being renovated so um hence the uh state of the walls First off is this, which is lemongrass. So this has been selling like crazy. I think we only got seven left and I started off for like 22 or something. Most of the things I sold were lemongrass. And it smells a bit like lemon sherbet. but that, this is one of my core scents. So I think I released it maybe June and it's gonna stay because uh, it's so popular, but also it's just one of those lovely sort of core scents as I said. So they're gonna be, um, it's gonna be all year round, but yeah. I'm going to be sending some more of these to my stockist as well because she's told me they sold out like crazy. So I need to send some more to her as well. So I'll send more than I did last time. This one's one of the new scents. This is um, Lang Lang. This is the only one I've got left. So I'm going to be ordering some more. Um, this, along with lemongrass, just smells like a spa. It, I just, John doesn't like the smell of this, but I think it smells like a spa. I really like this. This is my favourite of the new newer scents. Um, but yeah, it was dead popular. A lot of people bought the lemongrass with this as well. So... I've got one left and I think I started off with eight. So yeah, so I sold like seven over this weekend. The scents that I've just released is this rose one. This is the only one left of these. I think there was like eight at the beginning or something like that. They've been selling really well too. I did have these in spring and they sold well then. And they've also been selling well at my stockers. I think she, I sent quite a few with her. I think she's only got a few left. So that's exciting. And uh, yeah, so I'll be getting some more of them as well to restock. This one is Clary Sage. So this... All these come in eight different shapes as normal. Um, I do have all the shapes showing in one of the pictures on my Etsy shop and I show all the shapes regularly like, on my Instagram and stuff. But 
There'll always be someone who'll go, I didn't know they came in different shapes. <laughs> but they're all like leaf nature sort of shapes. And these are like my main shapes that I do, my melts in. I do like autumn, I do pumpkins and there's Christmas shapes and there's like Easter shapes and stuff as well. This one is cedarwood. They're all um, 16 mil, by the way. Like some are thicker because the shapes are smaller, if that makes sense. So they works out thicker with the 60 mil and some look thinner because the shape's wider, if that makes sense, but they're all the same size. This one is juniper. Lots of straw flowers just seem to have migrated to the bottom of it for some reason, even though I put it in like the same way as I do all of my melts, but that's just where it's gone. <laughs> they're all made as well with 100% eco soy wax, essential oils and um, naturally dried flowers. And you can compost them as well after the sun's gone. I'm going to leave this week's vlog there. Um, and yes, that's it. Next time, I think I'm going to have a little sort of holiday vlog. Just going away for a couple of days with it being my birthday. I'm going to be 39, the last birthday with the three at the beginning. That's great. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Sorry I didn't film much in some of the fairs, but I thought you could see a little bit about what goes on when we go to these fairs. And it was a busy weekend. They're a little bit underwhelming, not going to lie. <laughs> but never mind we keep going we move on so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and yeah thank you for your support on this youtube channel like my subscribers has gone up been going up loads recently and the likes and the views and stuff so that's like amazing so thank you very much and i'll see you in the next one